Welcome to Mythbusters Dyslexia Edition. My name is Dr. Katherine Garforth. And I am Dr. Jan Hasbrook. Another dyslexia myth, a sad one actually, that people consider students with dyslexia as being lazy. They just need to focus and try harder. Um, I have an emotional reaction when I think about that myth from my own daughter. Um, who's now in her forties and all past all of that <laughs> suffering that she had to go through in school as being dyslexic and uh, not being fully understood or supported in her work. And there was one teacher uh, that we both will never forget uh, in her middle school, junior high years that would persistently write on her page, uh, Lizzie, you need to try harder. Uh, and I, I, I just always wanted to say to that teacher, um, you know, she's, it, nobody could try harder than my daughter. And I hear this from so many parents of their children with dyslexia. Um, if teachers only saw what we see at home, how it's not a lack of trying. Uh, they're trying as absolutely hard as they can. And it's not laziness because they, they would do anything um, to be able to do what their peers can do so easily. So that is perhaps for me, one of the most painful myths and it still is out there. Um, I see things shared on Twitter where parents will share the same kind of thing that I saw, their child clearly struggling uh, with aspects of decoding and spelling and the teacher writes something on the page of, uh, you're not trying hard enough. You're, this, is, this is not your best effort. When, if you know what dyslexia is, you can just see the effort expended in that, in that paper. So yes, complete myth. These children are not lazy. It's not, uh, uh, their challenges are not because they're not trying hard enough. Their brain doesn't work the way uh, it needs to, to do the kinds of things we're asking them to do. And that can be changed through instruction. That's on us, not on them. Yeah. And again, I mean, as a dyslexic myself, I've heard that time and time again. And it's like, do you actually know how hard it is for me to do this and how much work I need to put in to do this? Um, and no matter how much I focus and no matter how much I try harder, there are things that I just can't do the way that you want me to do them at the speed that you want me to do them. Yes. And one thing, you know, hearing that laziness, you just need to try harder, it really affects your self-esteem mm -hmm. and your self-perception. And it can also lead children to that learned helplessness and that fixed mindset. And, you know, it's like, fine, you don't think I'm trying? I'm not. I'm not even going to start. And then that's where we see these behavior issues coming and how taxing it is for that individual and stressful is, is really damaging. And as educators, we need to really think about the language that we're using, even in those one-off comments, <laughs> because it might've been, oh, can't you just try harder? But that kid will have that playing on repeat in their head, potentially for the rest of their life. And it might have been a moment that you just, you know, just let it slip. And it happens. Everybody's human. But it's being conscious about it and realizing how fragile these little ones are. And even, you know, in high school. And, you know, everybody's, you know, the amount of reading that's assigned and if they don't have, you know, accessibility to audiobooks, and just because they have something like audiobooks doesn't mean it works for them. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, they may still actually have to physically read it to be able to comprehend it. Right. Um, so it can be very, very intimidating. And at least when you move on to post-secondary, if that's a, a route that you're taking, you can control the the amount and the number of courses that you're taking but in high school 
it's very difficult to say, okay, I'm going to do this in, you know, grade 11 in two years instead of one, right? Uh, it's not a, it's not the same exception, right? Mm -hmm. And the understanding. So the moral of the story is <laughs> dyslexics do try hard. They are not lazy. And something that might have been, you know, super easy for you to get and do is 10 times harder for them. But something that you find extremely challenging, they could just do in their sleep. 